Understanding Deny Entry, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind the phrase, deny entry. If you're curious about how and when this phrase is used in English, you're in the right place. So let's dive in and get a better understanding of this common expression. The phrase, deny entry, refers to the act of not allowing someone to enter a specific place or country. It's a formal expression that is often used in official contexts, such as at borders, in legal settings, or when discussing access to certain facilities or services. The word, deny, is a verb meaning to refuse or reject, and, entry, is a noun that refers to the act of entering. When put together, they describe the action of refusal of access or admission. Let's look at some examples to see how deny entry is used in different contexts. 1. Immigration. The government has the right to deny entry to anyone they consider a security risk. 2. Private property. The owner can deny entry to individuals who do not follow the club's dress code. 3. Security. Due to safety concerns, the event organizers decided to deny entry to latecomers. In each of these sentences, deny entry is used to communicate the decision to refuse access for different reasons. It's important to note that deny entry is not the same as deny access. Deny entry specifically refers to physically entering a place, while deny access might refer to other forms of entry such as accessing information or an online account. Remember, deny entry is about a physical location. That's all for our look at deny entry. We hope this video has clarified how and when to use this phrase. Remember, understanding these expressions can make a big difference in your English comprehension and speaking abilities. Keep practicing. And don't hesitate to look back at this video if you need a refresher. Until next time, happy learning!